Okay everybody, welcome back to the channel. So again, we're outdoors, it's lesson time. We're gonna talk about the four most common mistakes I find most golfers make with the driver, which absolutely cripples them and makes it really difficult to, number one, control the strike, and number two, control the shot direction. Okay, so we're gonna work on your drive. We're gonna help you get into a really good start position to really maximize or help you to deliver that golf club, control your strike, hit straighter shots and longer shots. So just before we jump into the video, if you enjoy the content I'm putting out there and you haven't subscribed, please consider just hitting that subscribe button. Very much appreciate it. Also, if you like what I'm doing, hit the like button, YouTube like that for algorithms. It helps me out and hopefully allows me to put this video in front of more people who can actually benefit from this. So let's jump straight into it and Issue number one I find is distance we stand from the golf ball. So again, my day-to-day -day coaching, I see so many golfers will stand to the golf ball too close to it. And when I mean by too close is the handle is too close to the legs. You know, there's just a very sort of shortage of room there to swing, to actually swing the golf club. I think most, most comments I get is, um, you know, I'm pretty good with my mid irons. My irons I'm pretty solid with. I can control the ball flight, get a drive in my hand, and it's like I really struggle to hit the, to control the golf ball. So they sort of want to stand to it a little bit like an iron, obviously that little bit closer. So they get used to that sort of comfort distance from the golf ball. And I think what I find them do is, is obviously they creep in towards that ball. That really makes it difficult to let this club flow. Obviously, to create some club head speed, to control your swing direction, which is your club path, and then also obviously controlling strike. Pretty much odds on you're gonna hit the heel of the golf club. And we know that for a right-handed golfer, will create that weak left to right ball flight. So if we get a little bit too close to the ball, okay, we'll lack a lot of that room. So what I'd like you to do is, is to come into it and maybe just sort of reach for the ball into that setup. You might come in with this sort of trail right side, reach for that golf ball, present the club behind the golf ball, and then sort of step into it and just have a little bit more room or be aware of the room now between the butt end of the golf club and your legs. We just want to have a little bit more of a gap there. We give ourselves that bit of room, that little bit of freedom, and that can help us just to, number one, get the hips rotating, number two, get the handle back into this sort of position. We've got the room to do it, and that can help obviously path and control that ball striking. Okay, so issue number two is ball position. Again, talking about comfort zones, maybe with those irons, ball position with that sort of iron is obviously a bit more in the middle of the stance or towards the middle of the stance. Driver, we know we need to get it into that left foot, but not everybody, um, or some people think they're in that position, but they're not, and it starts to creep back and they, and they just fall into those sort of lackadaisical sort of movements. So what I mean by that is where the ball gets probably a little bit too much sort of, um, maybe just forward of centre of the stance, not inside that left heel, left heel, gets a little bit back in the stance. Now, the issues that creates is obviously we get a little bit too much over the golf ball there now, so we tend to create more of a steeper angle of attack. We hit a little bit more down on it, which can be quite dangerous with the driver. The guys who have tons of speed can get away with that slight downward blow because they've got enough speed to create the ball speed to keep that ball in the air. Most golfers don't have that luxury of all that speed, so hitting down of it can be very damaging to um, obviously the strike location, but also then the face control of that golf ball. Now, if you tend to like to tee the ball really low, you probably are more of a downward blow of the, of the, of the uh, delivery of that golf club. Because what I mean by that, if you were to tee that ball up nice and high, you get your ball positioned a little bit too far back, you're gonna get steep on it. You typically might see those, what we call those sky marks, those strikes on the top edge of that golf, golf club, you leave a, a horrible scratch on your nice new shiny golf club. So then you'll always wanna try and tee that ball low to try and control your strikes. If you do that, that's probably a good sign you're hitting a little bit down on it, make sure you check that ball position. So to help us get a little routine of getting that ball in that right position, as we position presenting ourselves there, maybe with these feet together to the start position, is then just make that little nudge with that lead foot first, and literally is a little nudge, and then make the rest of the stance with that trail foot. So you can see then the ball position is more inside that left heel. We are then positioned a little bit more behind the golf ball, which would encourage us to hit a little bit late on that arc, which is then a little bit more up through the golf ball. So let me go through that routine. Little step with that lead foot, rest with the trail foot. I've got my distance from the golf ball, I feel like I'm a little bit more behind it. And that's a lovely, nice, high-towering bombing 
driver. Okay, so the third issue we tend to sort of find a lot of golfers get into, they get the ball position possibly right, you know, inside that front foot as we've, lead foot as we've just sort of uh, gone through there. But once they get into that position, they then feel like they need to get the head over the golf ball. So what they then tend to sort of do is then lean the body weight into that lead foot. Okay, so they end up sort of leaning there, the pressure gets in that, in that lead foot and the head gets a little bit too much over the top of the golf ball. And again, from there, we end up sort of maybe swinging, staying on that lead side and then trying to reverse back through the swing. And obviously then we're not creating the power through the actual swing itself. This also ties into issue number four, which I'm going to talk a little bit about at the same time, because as we get into this sort of forward lean position, possibly, what happens then if I stand this way to you what happens then is as we lean forward there you can see then if I lean to this front side you can see how the shoulders then start to really open up so obviously that can then create sort of swing direction issues as well so to try and help us hit that ball on the way up collect that golf ball generate that little bit more sort of power help to control club face everything like that then we need to obviously make that ball inside that lead heel as we talked about but then instead of trying to lean that way we need to have that little bit of spine tilt away from the target okay so we're just sort of tilting from the waist upwards we're not sort of sitting the weight back on that trail side we're just literally going to make that little tilt set ourselves behind it and then we can make our swing and turn ourselves through the golf shot and that's an absolute ripper so if you struggle with the driver off the tee, have a little look at those four aspects we've just gone through there. These should really help. If we can get those fundamentals right in that setup position, we've got a really good chance of making a good connection and hit it a little bit more neutral, and hopefully adding a few more yards and also a bit of accuracy to your tee shots. Thanks for watching. Hopefully catch up with you all very soon.